Now this morning's temperatures are cooling off, but surprisingly we're dealing with some unhealthy air. Yeah, that is unusual for winter. You don't really hear about that very much. So here's a look at the map from the EPA, the air quality map. And as you can see, most of Southeast Michigan's under moderate air quality and some parts of Metro Detroit are even dealing with air that's unhealthy for sensitive groups. So let's check in right now with seven first alert meteorologist Mike Taylor to kind of break it down for us. Here we are in the middle of the winter and we're talking about unhealthy air out there. Yeah, two things to mention and to consider the fact it hasn't really felt like winter uh, based on how the numbers have set up. And we also have a stagnant air mass. It's not moving. And that will change a little bit later on today. And here's another look at that same data. And you'll see the trouble spots actually just northeast of Detroit and south of Mount Clemens. That's where the, it's that orange color. That's that level three or unhealthy for sensitive groups, the elderly, uh, very young children. Same thing for the Sarnia area and also near Port Huron. And once again, conditions will improve. There's a cold front that's marching in this direction from the north. That's going to really mix things out and get the atmosphere moving again. And right now, another sign that things are not moving. We have some fog out there. Uh, from Windsor to Monroe on the east side of Detroit, east side of Wayne County, even that's going to improve later this morning. But numbers are near the freezing mark, so just be aware of some slick spots in those zones. We have temperatures in the 20s and the low 30s in some spots. We'll officially reach numbers in the upper 40s to low 50s, and then we really turn the other way, go the other way after that. We'll talk about temperatures trying to recover coming up.